so all of us need to know yeah i do have an announcement i think i posted it on slack earlier about uh the hot six that we had mentioned yesterday so uh today's player of the hot set is going to be meron uh and uh what is going to happen just as i explained on slack is that uh towards the end towards the end of the stand-up so we'll have meron to um we'll have Maren to have her video on, then everybody else is going to prepare any sort of question. I'm sure by now we had enough time to kind of prepare any sort of question you'd like to, uh, to ask her. So she will only have five minutes to respond to as many questions as possible. Then after the end of five minutes, we're just going to tally and see how many questions she was able to respond to and in terms of um how we are going to be asking is when when the time comes for the hot seat uh people will have their hands raised you know you just click the hand up button then you have your uh you have yourself unmuted because it's going to be very quick so once she responds to another i will call upon the next person who's coming in to ask then you just ask uh, immediately so um one more thing is that we are not we stay away from technical questions like pro programming and all that because we are aiming at trying to know Maron better so and ask her more about her and her life and all that and Maron um will be allowed to to pass any question that she feels that she does not feel comfortable to respond to so she'll use the word pass uh to pass it so um that's the announcement we'll come and redo the rules later when we're about to start okay oh. um thank you mary that's great uh tin academy team any announcements Um, okay, so just from my side, if you have, I hope that everyone has looked at the um, week eight uh, careers exercise and I hope that you have seen which tutor um, you are assigned to. Um, so it's either myself or Mariam. Everyone who has been assigned to me, you have received a link for a session after the stand up has been completed um where you will where we will discuss the week eight um careers uh choosing a track so everyone who has been assigned to me you should have received the link if you have not please reach out um so that I can share the link with you. And now I think we can get started. I am going to wait for two minutes for... Uh, okay, Kezan, I've sent you the link. I know that you have received the link, so we can share that with you in that session. Martin, um, okay. Biruk also cannot find a career document. Okay, um, I will figure that out. Martin, you've got your hand up. Please go ahead. Okay, uh, I yes. don't know whether you are able to hear me. All right, uh, so <clears throat> yeah, uh, yesterday I was going through the task, uh, just understanding causality, causal inferencing, and uh i found out that uh it's yeah it's it's an interesting concept and uh i was just going through documents the documentations uh the libraries that have been created to assist in causal inferences and it's been uh it's yeah it's been interesting to learn all those uh elements and though i had a question but uh i think i'll ask maybe during the class uh time uh yeah but uh that's what i've been doing uh, last uh, yesterday and uh, this uh, today i wanted to uh, complete on uh, 
doing that causal modeling in our in our particular data set that we were given to work with uh, also on careers uh, i also intend to uh, complete uh, on the choice of careers then I, i'll be able to do the process okay great uh thank you martin um yeah be sure to ask the question um because someone else might have the same question and it can get sorted out i'm going to wait another minute for someone to volunteer to speak and then i will do the usual going down the list so uh Jonas, michael daisy in that order please go ahead and then titus hello can you hear me yes okay uh yesterday was uh quite a long day uh, so most of the things i have uh tried to read was uh, very new for me uh, so i was struggling to uh, understand the concept behind the causality uh, i have read the recommended articles and uh, i've tried to see the videos uh, so basically that was what i have uh, done so today i'm uh, i'm going to try to do uh, some of the data analysis uh, and do the uh, non try to go through the non technical uh, uh, the clear uh, document so that is uh, what i have okay thank you um i hope that you you sound a bit tired you said yesterday was a long day i hope you managed to get some rest um okay so that you can face the rest of the week uh michael share with us okay good morning yeah uh yesterday was a good day for me i was trying to go through the data analysis the eda and i saw that on slack uh, bini has shared his good experience by saying like first i was i, I will try to do the tasks uh as as fast as possible and i will go back in the uh, season later and i i i found that i found out that it was the best uh, it was the best way and i try to follow that one and as uh, uh i think more or less i finished task one yesterday and today i will uh, start the causal learning parts and uh, i i think i'm in uh, on a good path and yeah that was all about my yesterday's task thank you thank you for sharing it sounds like you have made positive progress daisy please go ahead um thank you kari uh, good morning everyone um on my end yesterday i just spent time with the document trying to understand causal inferencing um and uh, like there's really so much to learn so hopefully i can be able to combine all that um and start working on the submission for tomorrow just to summarize my learning um and then also today i intend to start out on the coding bits of the assignments um for the career um documents i'm yet to see i'm yet to see who i've been assigned to um um i'll, I'll be able to do that and then maybe follow up with the rest thank you thank you daisy um just before i continue is anyone else not finding the document for the careers challenge um type yes in the messages because it seems like a few people okay well never mind the it's just been sharing the messages so if you found if you haven't found it please go find it there because it's an important exercise um titus please go ahead okay uh thank you for the opportunity are you able to hear me yes okay so um from my side uh yesterday i just uh, spent a major chunk of my time just uh, looking at uh, challenge documents and uh, just taking a preview on the resources that are on YouTube and the ones that uh, are embedded in the documents. 
Um, and I also um, just spent a little time, uh, time just planning for what I do. Uh, for like instance, today I'll be uh, I'll be diving into the exploration of uh, the data, um, but I didn't like really plan out my whole week like what I do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to the last day. I just plan for what I do today, which is data exploration, because I'm not really confident with the capacity of the uh, the task that I can handle. Uh, so I'll do more planning by the end of today. Uh, when I have majorly just understood what I'm supposed to do and uh, the libraries, just I'll, I'll make the, the final planning by the end of today. So yeah, and about the careers, I haven't really checked out the, the documents. So yeah, I'll, I'll check it out in, in, in a few years. So basically that's my, yeah, my plan and my progress so far. Thank you. Thank you, Titus, and I'm glad that you are getting into the habit of creating a plan. I'm sure that it is going to help you going forward. Uh, Meron, good morning. Please share with us. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, everyone. So basically, yesterday, I've been trying to look at the challenge document and understand what the task. This week, I feel like you know, I'm going to start as you, we yes. can't really hear you. Well, I can't. I'm not sure if anyone else is struggling to hear you. Uh, okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay. So yesterday I've been looking at the challenge document and trying yeah, to understand yeah, yeah. the task. And so I feel like this week I'm happy to start as a good friend of mine on this telecademy team suggested starting the EBA. So I went ahead and just started the data and got started working on the explanation of the analysis. So and hopefully I'll be finishing that today. And as for the career assignments, I saw that I was assigned to Miriam, but uh, the country is, is Kenya. I'm not from Kenya. I'm actually from Ethiopia. Do correct that on the documents. So that's it for my progress. Thank you. Okay, Miron. Um, so you are from Ethiopia. Okay. I'll make sure that's changed. Biniam. Good morning. Please go ahead. Good morning, Kiri. What? So, yes. Uh, can you hear me? Okay, to give you an update on my progress. Uh, yesterday, I went to uh, prepare as much. Uh, uh, resource as possible so that I can quickly complete the weekly challenge, the week challenge in general. And uh, I think I've been successful at that. Of course, uh, I've faced some blockers regarding uh, uh, <clears throat> the jacquard index, uh, the subtask in task two. So um, I will I will be doing some more research uh, to figure out exactly how to fit that stage into the general uh, uh, task uh, flow. So uh, other than that, uh, uh, it's going great. Today I will be implementing the plan I've said yesterday. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miki. Previously, you mentioned that uh, uh, the suggestion I made regarding the way uh, to go about and executing the tasks is uh, helpful to you. So. Thank you for that, and uh, yeah, that's all from me. Great. Um, thank you, Binyam. Stella, please go ahead. Good morning. I hope that you can hear me. Yes, can hear you. Okay, so yesterday um, I spent most of my time going through the challenge document trying to understand um all about the the project this week and so says i went through some of the references that were offered and also um i was just going through uh, 
the conversations on Slack and I found um, some resources shared really helpful that sort of been doing today morning. I also uh, set up my Git repo and started an EDA. My plan is to um, maybe do um, first so that I learn uh, how to how to come up with the best model at the end of the of the week. And also I've reached out to my career tutor for the week's career challenge. Um, I'm waiting for her reply, but I'm hopeful that the week will be good so far. I'm really glad to hear that. You sound really positive. Um, I'm sure that your career student will reach out to you soon. Uh, Gizan, good morning. Please share with us. Okay, good morning, uh, I can hear you, but you are a bit soft. I'm not sure if it's just me. to wrap up the references given from the team and uh, I try to wear on uh, some implementation techniques and so uh, one of my major tasks was just uh, collecting information related to the project and the second thing I have my own plan uh, for the challenge so based on that plan I try to set up my working environment and uh, I try to configure my kit. So, based on that, I try to start uh, my EDA section for task one. And it looks like I complete the task one and I start uh, uh, task two. Uh, since then, it's okay, there is no blocker in uh, my uh, project, I mean, in my challenge. Uh, regarding to the career document, I tried to find for my short document, I didn't uh, get it, but you know, I think you got us uh, correct link. Uh, it was requesting our uh, permission access. So this is from my end. Thanks. Thank you. Um, hi, it sounds like you're making progress. Uh, Kevin, please go ahead. Yeah, good morning, everyone. So. Yesterday, I have tried to pass through the document, the challenge document, trying to understand the, the this week challenge and pass through provided references so that I can be able to clearly understand what is the cultural inference. And today I'm planning to start working on data exploration and provide this full insight and to better understand the data. I'm also trying to set up my GitHub so that I can continue moving forward. Okay, thank you. Uh, hey, Juan. Good morning. Please Hello. Please. Good morning. Um, so yesterday, I, I was trying to um, go through uh, the challenge document and trying to to find ideas or get a better understanding about it and um, I'm still I'm still searching for concepts and try to understand it well um, and I was able to create uh, an, a GitHub repo and set up uh, my environment. Uh, today I'll be working in data exploration so this is my progress. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you for volunteering to speak. Uh, Biruk, good morning. Good morning. I hope you can hear me. Yes, can hear you. Okay, so um, this story was uh, kind of very tough for me. Last week, I had uh, some personal blockers, which uh, hinders me from completing the weeks, uh, the weekly challenge on the allotted submission time. 
So uh, I, I was working on that. I am completed most of most of it yesterday and submitted it. Yeah, even though I was uh, very late, uh, but I, I think it's better than not submitting. Um, and then after that, I have tried to walk through the materials, the many document, and uh, some uh, the references also, and some YouTube videos to quickly understand the concepts of the casual inference, um, and. It looks very interesting, and I'm very hopeful that I will uh, align myself to this uh, weeks and the the tasks as well. So that's where I am. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have your personal blockers been sorted out. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I can say that. Okay. Rafa, please share with us. Hi, Gary. Morning. And yeah, morning, everyone. So uh, for this week, I just started yesterday. I just um, got through the documents. And uh, as just Birok mentioned, it seems to be quite interesting. Um, task this one and um, so I'm trying to watch some videos to understand the concept and um, I didn't yet start work at my like uh, make set up the repo but the repository but um doing that today and also looking at the data and yeah hopefully uh, by today I will have um, gone more far than I mean than yesterday so and for the career exercise um yeah hopefully that uh, by today I will have also uh, some solid understanding how I will be able to choose my track and confidently uh, become like uh, satisfied with what I'm going to choose so yeah that's what I can say is it update okay thank you so much rafa this fail please go ahead okay hello everyone can you hear me yes okay uh so uh yesterday was uh the day what i call uh youtube day so i was looking through the concept of uh, uh, uh causal uh, inference on YouTube and I think I got a, gr a good idea about it so that uh, I can continue on uh, the uh, report and uh, uh, coding part uh, today. So yeah, uh, nothing blocker uh, by my side, uh, but I think the main challenge uh, this week is all about uh, the careers challenge, choosing the best uh, artist, uh, what we think the best um, career uh, for us uh, would be is a big question for this week so I'm, I'm going to work more on that one but yeah that's good by my side thank you uh this way um Dagmawi. good morning could you please share with us Yeah. Hello. So, uh, speaking about my progress, uh, uh, listening to my peers uh, talking about their progress, I haven't been able to progress that much uh, compared to them because of uh, I haven't, uh, we haven't, we have got a power outage for the uh, half of the day uh, yesterday. So, I haven't been able to progress much. Uh, on the coding side, but I have been able to ex I have been able to explore the 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 guides through the challenge document, and I'm trying to catch up today. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, um, Daisy. Good morning. Could you please share with us?
good morning, Kyrie. I had shared my progress oh. earlier. Oh, sorry. Um, I made a list and I, okay. Sorry, Daisy, that's my mistake. Um, Jeremy. Um, Jeremy. Okay, Matilda. Good morning. Yep. Please go ahead. Okay. okay, Jeremy. Please go ahead and then Matilda. Okay, hi everyone. Hi. Hello. Uh, okay, yesterday I was working through the document chat and uh, I was trying to understand the, the data and uh, performed a, a little on EDM. And uh, for today, I'm, I'm going to be working on the uh, finalizing the EDA part in the list. Okay, thank you. Uh, Matilda? Please go ahead. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So as for my progress, I had a block yesterday. I could not um, do anything until today morning. So I haven't progressed much on the in this week's challenge, but I'm hoping to progress uh, today to get started on it today. I managed to sort out the blocker. So yeah, I am. Um, going to start on it today. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Matilda. And please reach out to your fellow trainees and tutors on Slack to help you catch up. Um, Ken Wakura, could you please share? Good good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, good morning. I can hear you. Mm, so, my my progress so far. Yesterday, I was I was not able to join the session. Most of the day, I was I had gone to the doctor to seek some medication. I have a fever. So I missed most of the sessions yesterday, but I got an update from one of the trainees on what went ahead yesterday. Later on during the day, I also did some research about the challenge you are doing this week. And I'm hoping to do much of the progress today, actually. Thank you. Uh, thank you for sharing. I hope that you are feeling better. Uh, Dynamo. Could you please share? Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, so yesterday, uh, uh, I wasn't able to progress much because of uh, constant uh, power outage and uh, my, inter my internet issues. Um, I was hoping to join the session, the afternoon session, with the team from uh, Konami to just get uh, a hands-on experience uh, uh, on casual in France, but uh, due to my internet, I was unable to just follow up uh, with them. So today I will uh, just go through the YouTube and uh, watch the service sessions and uh, uh, go through the challenge document and uh, understand the casual in France and just do my research on the internet. So. In general, I wasn't able to progress yesterday, so I'm hoping for a better day today. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I hope that you make progress. Please reach out to your fellow trainees for help. Uh, Nahom, good morning. If you can share, uh, please go ahead. Okay, good morning, everyone. So yesterday, uh, I went through the challenge document and initialized my repo. Uh, I had no access to the career manual yesterday, so I didn't check that. But today I'm planning to start uh, tasks and check out the career doc. Um, 
okay i'm not sure if something happened to this mic uh nodos good morning can you please share with us good morning everyone how are you doing uh so yesterday i've been researching more about quadrant inference and i've started working on the data exploration part so i've decided to switch up my method this week usually i wait till i completely understand the project before starting working on it so this week i decided to start just from what i know since the data exploration part we had some experience in the other projects so i've started working on that and i'm gonna go uh, understanding it piece by piece so yeah that's my progress this week thank you um samuel please share with us and then salam okay hello good morning everyone and good morning carrie uh, to give you an update, uh, I was going through the challenge document and the reference. Also saw videos explaining the concept and I've initialized my repo. I, I plan to do the EDA today. That's uh, it for me. Okay, uh, Salam. Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, well, yesterday um, I didn't do much, but I was looking um, into the concepts of uh, causal inference and uh, I was um, writing some things that I could use later for my interim report. And besides that, today I set up my repository and issues and uh, I hope on doing the exploratory data analysis and also on the uh, career exercise. Um, I'm going to uh, decide on what kind of career path I'm going to choose, and that's my plan overall. Thank you so much. Uh, Mary, I believe everyone has spoken. So am I handing over to you for the hot seat? Yeah, sure, Kerry. Okay, so I'm I'm hoping the rules um, now we, we we have a lot more people who have joined us, so I'll just repeat on uh, the ground rules we are going to use. So our hot seat player today is going to be Maron. So Maron will be um, requested to to turn her camera on. Uh, so that people are able to kind of see you as you're responding. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to set a timer, five, a five minutes timer, uh, which we are going to use for the hot set. So basically all our questions, whoever has questions, we are only allowed to ask within the five minutes mark. And what the task Meron will have is to respond to as many, because the more you respond, the more points you get i'll keep telling your points here so is there anybody who has a question about this before we get started anyone who has a question who's not understood properly okay so now i'll give us um, about a minute for those who have questions, to start raising up your hands. We'll start the timer once all the hands are raised and we are good to go in terms of like, they're going to be rapid fire questions. Anybody with questions? Okay, okay. Keep them coming. Keep the hands coming, guys. Keep the hands coming. Keep the hands coming. We need as many questions as possible. Keep them coming. And it would be really nice for you guys to volunteer and participate in this. It's usually very fun and a very good way to kind of know each other and know each other better. Okay, I'm still waiting for more hands. We only have three. Okay, Biniam. All right. We need at least like five more. 
it's any question. This should be the easiest task to do, for God's sake. Any, any, any sort of, um, any question is welcome. All right, now I'm going to prepare my stopwatch. And we'd like to request Baron to turn on her video. If she hasn't, still can't see her. Oh, there you go. How are you doing? I'm good. Feeling a bit on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're on the spot, but it, it shouldn't it shouldn't give you um a hard time. All right. It feels so like Baron, the moment of truth. <laughs> Yes, yes, exactly. So, Maron, what you have to do, any question that is not, um, you don't feel like answering, you feel it's not comfortable for you, you just say pass, okay? Then what I would do, I will tell you all the questions you're going to be able to answer. And you don't have to, no stress, don't overthink it, just go for it. Answer the first thing that comes into your mind. All right? Okay. okay. So... Are we all ready to go? I'm ready. Okay, so I will I will I will go first, then we'll have Nardos to follow. I'll I'll call upon you uh to kind of um ask. Okay. All right, and the timer starts now. So Nardos, what was uh, your worst yes. subject at school? Is that from you or for Nardos? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Maron, what's your... What, oh. okay, I'll just start, sorry. sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, I'll start the time again. So what was your worst subject at school? Physics. <laughs> Physics. Nardos, go. Wait, do I answer that question or...? No, 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 you ask, you ask. Oh, okay, okay, sure. Uh, so I've always liked uh, your name, Miron, and I really want, it, I know it's too late for me to ask now, but what does it mean? And the other question I want to ask is, what is like the hardest thing you think you had in your life? Like, what is the challenge you ever faced? Okay, so the... Sorry, Maron, we lost you. What's the meaning of my name? My name basically means like a holy oil. I'm sorry. And now we can hear you. Yeah. So did you get that? The name, my name, no. my name means like a, a holy oil that's used to bless objects and peoples. You know, when people take Christianity, uh, when they're uh, like a little and when they're baptized they are you know oiled with metal yes okay, so i can explain that shoot your shots okay maren what's your favorite music genre uh i can't say i have a favorite because i really enjoy like diversified genre i like classic r b so that's it all right, Maren, what do you regret most in your life? Uh, regret uh, not spending enough time uh, doing practical stuff in college. Education. Awesome. Awesome. Biniam, go. Craig. <laughs> so, uh, what do you do for fun? And uh, what do you do for, to relax? What do you do to relax? Uh, listen to music, eat, occasionally bake. Okay, Amal, go. Amal? Okay, Salam, go. Uh, okay, Miran, uh, what's the definition of a good life? Uh, if you say you have lived a good life, uh, what do you mean by that? 
I think a good life would yeah. be the one where I'm healthy, uh, around good people, good company. I'm healthy and I'm happy. Awesome. Geza? Okay, Miron. Uh, how do you manage your quotes and your boyfriend? Pararadi or series? <laughs> what, what? I didn't catch that. How do you manage your quote? Pararadi or seriously? Your code and your boyfriend. Your code? And your boyfriend. How do you manage? <laughs> Parallel or seriously? I'm not sure I get the question, but... <laughs> Basically, how do you balance? Oh, okay. How do I balance? I guess parallelly, I try to balance as much as possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Gasai. Okay, Stella. <laughs> Stella, go. What is one family tradition that uh, you really cherish and you'd like to share with us? Um, family tradition. It's old. We used to do it when we were kids, but counting uh, street like street lights that do like twinkle twinkle we used to play a game with my brothers we used to take sides when we we're driving cars and one of, one of my parents would be on my side the other one would be on my brother's side and we would just count and the one with more counts would have uh, won the game it's like a game we played when we were kids that's the first thing that came to my mind Thank also you. Mara, what is the riskiest thing you've ever done the riskiest thing I've ever done so far. So I quit my job to join Ten Academy. That'll be it. <laughs> oh, awesome. Rafa, go. Yeah, Meron, how you define yourself? Who, for someone who doesn't know who is Meron, how you define yourself? Who is Meron? Meron, okay. A person that's continuously searching to improve herself. Um, who sometimes have decision fatigue, who loves to be around people, uh, who is loyal and cherishes her family and friends. Okay, Shaka, Shaka, Kevin, go. <laughs> so, which sport do you like in practice? Which what? Sport, any activity. 20 seconds, Physical people. Activity. Sports, uh, mm, jogging. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 10 seconds, go. Uh, what's one uh, dish or one food you can cook really well? Wait, wait. What's one dish that you can make really well, that you're confident about? about you <laughs> you're cooking the <laughs> uh, I make <laughs> mean dirkosh Okay, refer. time, time. Din -din. Time up. Okay. <laughs> Well then, Meron, guys, give her a big round that of applause. <laughs> yeah, that was that was job well done there. So like you this to others. Yeah, so you've managed you've managed to um to answer fourteen questions and with no pass. So well done, well done to you. Thank you. So Meron, how was your experience? I know it's the first time we're doing this. Let's 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 have some five minutes of feedback before we close. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, it was a bit nerve nerve-wracking, but it was good, I guess. Awesome. And others, others, any feedback? Okay, Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> like. This is more stress relief compared to the community breeding. <laughs> awesome. Awesome to know. Yeah, she did well. I agree. She did well. Any more feedback in terms of even how we can make it even better? Is it something that we are happy to do, all of us? Because it's going to be um, the participants of the hot seat is going to be very random uh randomly picked um you guys know the data very well we're going to use randomization way to have 
everybody have a go at this at least for five minutes before we end our stand up. So Daisy, I see your hand is up. So yeah, for feedback, I think this was fun. Um, finally putting a face to Marion and uh, getting to meet her and just also getting to know her apart from um, Ten Academy and the things that interest her. I think it would be more fun if we reduced like the lag time. I know it's the first time, but like the time in between asking questions so that we just go from, okay, so Mary's done, we got to Nados, we got to Rafa, um, so that we can also make the most out of the five minutes. I agree, I agree. It's usually, um, well, it's usually harder when it's virtual, especially that, um, you know, you don't see the hands up or you can't point at a person, you have to say this person. But I think moving forward is just to make sure our questions are very precise so that we utilize uh, the five minutes. We only have five minutes window to ask whoever it is who's going to be on the hot set any sort of questions that we would like to know. Okay, that's good feedback to know. Okay, any other before we kind of close? Biniam? Yeah, okay. Uh... So, uh, in general, it's a great way of uh, getting to know each other, uh, uh, one another. So, uh, I think uh, this should be the norm. Uh, other than that, uh, the network disruption was somewhat diminishing to the experience. Uh, uh, yeah, if uh, the chairperson or the one to be asked uh, gets a better connection, that would be great next time. Okay. That, that's, that makes sense. Okay, Carrie, I can see your hand up. Um, yeah, I just want to remind everyone who has been assigned to me for the week eight careers exercise that I shared a link with you. If you haven't received a link to a session, please reach out and then we can jump on that call right away. It won't be very long. Awesome. Thank you, Kari. I think now we've come to the end of our stand-up today. Um, We're going to be having different chairs for the, for the hot seat, different chairs uh, every day and different participants. And we'll communicate tomorrow's uh, the earliest in the morning. Okay, so if you guys could prepare, any one of you could go next. All right, if we could request uh, the recording to be stopped. Um, Kindly, if the recording would be stopped, that would be great.